<clears throat> Looking for... You! Stentor? Oh! Malakas! I'm here to help, you idiot! Not after Megaris! Not after what you did! King Archidomos of Sparta sent me to aid you in securing the region. This is how much he trusts me. He put his faith in a fucking mercenary! The gods are punishing me with your presence. If I was your punishment, you'd already be dead. Why have the king sent you? I missed my new brother so much that when Archidomo sent me here, I jumped at the chance. Malaka! The wolf would have ended the war if it weren't for you. Your help will bring nothing but misery. I'm here on business. What's going on? Everything is fine. The Viotian rebels are a problem, but nothing we can't handle. What is the Spartan army doing in Viotia? We sieged Athens, but Cleon took power and pushed us out. The King Viodia will weaken his position. The wolf was gone. I was needed. I couldn't abandon my men. You should thank the gods that I've come to help you. The only reason you're still alive is that writ you carry. You're not an ally, just a weapon. Then put me to work. You're not up to the challenge. Try me. There are four Viodian champions fighting for the Athenians. Aristeos, Yanira, Nesea, and Dragon. Think you can kill them? I'd like to see you try. I told you we could work this out. All right then, I'll find these champions and put an end to them. I doubt it will be as easy as you think. But I'm relieved to see you can follow orders. Where will I find these mighty Viotians? I only know of two. There are reports of Aristeos occupying the military fort of Gela. Nesea was last seen in the forest east of Thebes. I thought the Viotians hated everyone. Why are they working with Athens? They see both Sparta and Athens as enemies. But Athens got here first, and they agreed to a temporary alliance. What's so great about these champions? They're just four people against the Spartan military. Sparta has its army, and Viodia has its legends. But they're a symbol of what this place used to be. The sooner I get this done, the sooner we take Viotia for Sparta. This is it. Tracks don't look human. They lead away from the camp to the north. This fire's fresh, and the food's still simmering. Nesea can't be far away. This hut must be Nesea's. I guess she prefers the quiet of the forest over living in the city.
There stalks the mighty hunter. I do to see you again, Spiro. You come to steal from me too, Mistyos? Is that how you greet all your customers? I'm sorry. The soldiers have taken everything from me. Even my beloved Spiro. Soldiers take what they want. Who is Spiro? Only the best horse I ever owned. I feel the same about my Phobos. We did everything together. He'd do anything for me. Even without the promise of a carrot. <laughs> he sounds like a true friend. I need him back to cart my shipments. Once Dracon finds out I can't get him his oil, I'm as good as dead. Dracon? The Viotian champion? He's my biggest customer. I'm trying to hunt him down. Save me from Dracon's wrath. Find my Spiro, please. If you need him so badly, I'll find your Spiro. Be quick, please. I can only imagine what those thieves are doing to him. Where did they take him? They must have him at the military camp, east of Snakehead Rock. It's the only outpost nearby. Why do you take oil to Dracon? He likes to have his back oiled. Uh, makes his muscles look bigger, I suppose. I didn't think he needed the help. No. Although I don't know why he prefers my flammable oil over something less dangerous. Where do you deliver the oil? I deliver his shipments to his training ground near the site of Iphigenia's sacrifice. Where can I find these thieves? In a camp, east of Snakehead Rock. Can you tell me what Spiro looks like? I want to make sure I'm stealing the right horse. Where to begin? He is magnificent. A towering stallion as black as night, with a mane of brilliant, shimmering white hair. Looks like I have a horse to find. That must be Spiro. Looks like a sturdy horse. Find what that is.
That's odd. I should go look. I'd never see you again. He's all right. Not a hair touched on his mane. And Dragon will still get his shipment of oil, would he, Spiro? Hmm? We'll take it up the mountain and fill his holes with our wonderful flammable oil. You've made Spiro a happy horse, Bistios. And me, a happy man. You're a fool, Melani boss. A fool! Did you lose your Pankration much? Worse. I lost my one true love. My Dracon has found someone else. I just know it. He avoids me. And when we're together, he's always distracted. Maybe there's still a chance? I can't leave this up to the Queens of Tihi. I won't let Dracon go. Then what's your plan? I'm going to make a potion. It's a recipe that guarantees eternal love. That's an honest way to save a relationship. It's simple. I'll borrow his precious armor for a few days, coat the inside, and let the potion seep through his skin, straight to his heart. So, Dragon will be left without his armor. Aren't you worried he'll be vulnerable? Oh, he's the strongest, most chiseled man in Thebes. He'll be fine without it. Good to know. My problem is the last ingredient. I need to buy the rarest heaven Viotia from my herbalist, but she hasn't come to Thebes in a while. I can find her for you. Huh. I must believe in love after all. Thank you. Thank you. Where will I find this herbalist? She lives on a farm west of the city, near the tomb of many kefs. Rare herb, huh? What is it? A herb hot enough to impass in him. Red hot to make his affections and his skin Cizol. Tell me how you met. It's a tale for the edges. I moved to Thebes with dreams of becoming a great champion. I came to this gym and saw him. A mighty warrior with even a mightier smile. I wanted to learn from the best. But the only muscle he truly worked on was my heart. You're going to a lot of effort for Dracon. Is he worth it? He's a living... Breathing Heracles, you tell me. If he's not here, where is he? Normally, we're both here, night and day. The only time he leaves is to perform at the training ground. I'll go find that herb for you.
This looks like the place. Bandits! What a surprise! They're gone. You can come out now. Thank you, Mircios. If you hadn't intervened, we'd surely be dead. They must have really wanted something from you. The farm. It's one of the few untouched by the war. Herbs aren't free, you know. They'd uproot them and sell them. Speaking of herbs, that's why I'm here. I need to buy one for a man named Melanipos. Says he knows you. That troublemaker still wants to make the love potion. Well, he'll have it his way. I can sell you the herb he needs. I saved your farm. I feel like that deserves some gratitude. I have to make a living, don't I? Fine, here. Tell Melanipos to let it really suck in. There, your herb. It better be worth all the trouble. Yes, yes, Dracon is mine, till the end of time. Maybe I'll take him for a moonlit walk at the site of Iphigenia's sacrifice. He won't have to go far from his training site! And his armor? It waits patiently for the potion in my house. Good. Be sure to take your time with it. For the potion to work best. Yeah! <laughs> 
That sounds sad. I'm playing for Abreas, my brother. What happened to him? He was deceived and murdered by Astra and the Anira. I hoped if I played near water, he might hear the music as he travels down the sticks. Why would anyone want to kill your brother? Abreas spoke out against the alliance with the Athenians and accused the champions of betraying Viotia. Seems like he doubted the Anira's loyalty. He was right. She lured him out to the old sparring grounds and killed him to send a message to the rest of the region. Should I have heard of those names? The Anira is a champion of Viotia. I wouldn't expect someone of such renown to need help. Abreas and I used to spar with them as children. They work as one, covering each other's weaknesses. Then they'll be weaker alone. I've lost family too. It's your duty to avenge him. I don't want to kill the Anira. I want Astra killed instead. You want me to kill her cousin? Exactly. I'll kill Astra for you. When they killed Abreas, they took a necklace I made him. I want it back. I'll see what I can do. Viotia is large, and I don't have time to waste. Of course. The camp lies on the northern shoreline of Lake Kopais. Why not simply kill the Anira? She and Astra are very close. As close as Abreas and I were. I want her to feel the same pain, the same loss. Death would be too easy for her. I'll see your vengeance delivered. Thank you, Mistios. The Anira and her mercenaries have a camp east of the Orjomenos. You'll likely find Astra there. There's Astra. Better stay hidden. Eh? Who's whistling? Hmm. I'm sure it came from here. Hmm. That wasn't a bird.
necklace brings him some peace. Astra's dead. You have your vengeance. I thought I'd feel relieved. But you don't. This is a wound justice won't heal. Did you... Did Astra have my brother's necklace? Here. Thank you, mercenary. I made this for my brother when he was younger. So he would never be alone hunting or fighting. Now I need something from you. Anything. I need to know where the Anira is. If she wasn't at the camp, she is likely at the Cave of the Oracle, at the heart of Reborn Hill. Cave of the Oracle? It's a local shrine. The Anira often goes there to pray and seek guidance. Perhaps the Oracle told her to kill my brother. What will you do now? I suppose I'll try and get back to living. Alone. Now that your quest for vengeance is complete, why not start a new life? I could always use a man like you on the Adrestia. Yes. A fresh start would be good. The gods made us cross paths, after all. Glad to have you with us. This looks like the place. The Oracle of Trophonios. I wonder if the cult's working here too. I'm coming for all of you.
I should try to stay out of sight. This cave looks like it might lead inside the walls. Aristeos found you. Ah, looks like I missed a fight. Potter? Alexios, what are you doing here? I came to kill him. He wouldn't have been a challenge for you. But I'm glad our paths have crossed again. I never thought I'd see you again. What have you been doing? You made me realize in Megaris that I lost my honor long ago. There's no way to go back and make it up to you. But I can fulfill my promise to Stentor now. This is the last place I expected to find you. I left Stentor with the greatest responsibility a man could carry. I couldn't leave him to face it alone. How thoughtful. Killing these champions will weaken the Athenian hold on the region and destroy the rebels' morale. Leaving Stentor to pick up the pieces in Megaris was a mistake. I could not stay, not after what happened. I wasn't fit for command. Neither is Stentor, but he isn't running from it. You've changed so much. This is who I've always been. You just weren't there to see it. I will never be able to change that. But I can do something now for someone who needs me. There are things Stentor must hear to succeed. I wish you helped me back in Sparta. But Stentor does need your help now, even if he doesn't want to admit it. Stentor is as much your family as I am. You can still be there for him. I will. He may hate me, but I'm glad to have met him. <laughs> In a way. Goodbye, Alexios of Sparta. You're back. The champions have been dealt with. You should be dead. You seem disappointed. The gods are punishing me. I'm a mercenary. Killing is what I do. There is nothing godly about it. Modest, but mortal. And Hades will have you too. We'll cross that river when we get to it. I don't have time for this. Sparta must take this region now, while we have the chance. Let's get this over with. I couldn't agree more. The sooner I'm rid of you, the better.
Victory is ours! The victory is yours. You led us well today. My father taught me all I know about commanding an army. Too bad you took him from me. 
or I might have learned more. Stop. Don't you dare tell me what to do. I am in command here. You needed my help. By the gods, how are you so arrogant? No wonder my father discarded you. You know nothing about my family. I know he threw you off of a cliff and chose me instead. Oh, now who's being arrogant? You were an afterthought. You were second place. We'll see about that. What do you mean? Now that we've driven the Athenians from the field, it's time I dealt with my true enemy. Stentor, you... Your job is done, mercenary. Now I will kill you for what you stole from me in Megaris. Why are you doing this? Because... Because you marched into Megaris, ruined the fucking war, and murdered my father! I did what I had to! And so will I! What could you possibly gain from killing me? Justice, vengeance, peace! One would be enough, but all three is better! You think vengeance will dull your pain? Trust me, it won't. Here's the thing. I don't trust you. You don't have to do this, Stentor. Oh, but I do. There is nothing you can say to convince me otherwise. This isn't what Nikolaus would have wanted. Oh, you fucking know. Traitor! I am not a traitor. You betrayed Sparta. You betrayed your family. You killed my father and stole my chance at a normal life. You deserve nothing but the cold of my blade buried in your heart. Killing each other will not heal the wounds of the past. Pater! Hello, Centaur. I thought you were dead. Not just yet. He should pay for what he's done. I've already paid more than you could ever know. I don't give a shit what you've been through. Centaur. It's done. I don't understand. You both have a greater role to play. Become the leader I trained you to be. Lead the armies of Sparta and be victorious. How? You are an honorable man, a loyal son, and a great warrior. You will be a better commander than I ever was. You can do this. I will, father. I will make you proud. You already have. That could have ended badly. Alexios, a shadow grows across Sparta. Be cautious when you return. Mother and I will deal with it. You found her? Ruling Naxos. Sounds like her. May the gods watch over you both. 